Dead trees everywhere. This is the Agua Visitor Center. It's closed. They can't keep up with all the trees dying everywhere. If you can see through here, can you see all that? This is not natural. Look at this tree. Look, look at all the holes in it. This whole place, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I can't believe how many dead trees I'm finding everywhere. Look, look, everything's dying. You've seen all my other reports. Anyway, I'm over here at this aqua, aqua, whatever it's called on the Route 17. It's a visitor center. But they can't keep up. They get ready to open for spring and there's dead trees everywhere. 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 Anyway, my timing is perfect. Hopefully I can get down here somewhere and get a good view. <laughs> this boardwalk. Look at it. This center. These people would have to do a lot of work to open up this place for the public. That tree's dead there beside the building. There's dead trees everywhere. I guess they abandoned this place. There must have been some big storm coming through here. I can't see how I'm going to get across here. Looks like there's a new river that came through. Well, I can get far enough. Hopefully I can get some nice sunset pictures. There was a creepy guy here when I got here. He's still parked on the parking lot. Not the most friendly. He didn't have a camera. He looked like he just wanted to break into the place. Anyway, I gotta take some pictures. Well, that was an expensive building. It's big. Looks pretty abandoned though. Because it sure would have to do a lot of profit work on the property. Somebody's been cutting trees. Talk about extravagant visitor center, like, like, I don't know, I don't think this road gets a lot of traffic at any time. No dead tree, they're everywhere. See the bark? See what happens? That never used to happen 10 years ago. See? When the bark goes, the trees rot. There's something wrong in the environment that's doing that, it's not natural. I know, I've been out in nature all my life, 50, almost 60 years now. Huh. There's a moose down on the ground. You'd think they would have closed the gate. you think they would have closed the gate protect this property. Uh, for some reason I was pulled out of the ground. A lot of money was spent in this place. <coughs> A lot of money was spent here. Pretty weird. Okay, I'm turning off the camera and starting turning it back on. See what I was telling you about dead trees everywhere? And I mean, this is everywhere. <laughs> Every forest I've been in. And I mean, this is not natural. Forests forest don't fall apart like this. Look. What they did there is uh, they cut it because it was rotting. It was ready, it could have fallen on the building. Look. Everywhere. And people are still going about like there's no disaster going on in this world. This is an environmental disaster of epic proportions. And I've seen so much evidence of it, there's no denying it at all. See the discoloration? That's not natural. This is a multi-million dollar building. Extremely expensive. 
Good luck. Dead trees everywhere. And the, the park that I was at earlier, which was a, a Canadian park, you saw the Ecology Action Center there. Realize that the Canadian parks have been seized by the UN. And you'd think that the UN would be concerned about what's happening to all the trees, but no, they're like the rest of the stupid people, officials. They don't know anything, they don't want to know anything, but they do know and they don't want to tell anybody because they don't know how to deal with it because they're just, they're just ordinary people that cannot comprehend why all the forests are falling down, all the trees are dying, and everything's dying. See, everywhere you go. It's not because of storms. Because you can see in the quality of the bark what's happening. Ouch. Good thing I'm a native person, I can walk in the in the wilderness. Well he's gone. I'm just walking around this property wondering why it's abandoned. See, even this wood's rotting. Premature not rotting. It's, an, it's not from bugs. <sighs> Close for the season. Doesn't look like anybody broke in here. I don't know if you can read that. Wait a minute. Ah, too much reflection. There we go. You can pause it. I mean, I'll never be back here the rest of my life, that's for sure. This is an area I never thought I would ever come to. Uh, the top of Lake Superior. Hmm. Okay. That was my visit to this uh, Agua, or whatever it's called, visitor center. I'll take a picture of it on the way out so I'll know the name of it. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's going to be a tight one trying to get to Vancouver with the amount of money I've got left.